Well, we're going now to the push to bring down gas prices. Several cost savings proposals are being tossed around in Lansing. Yeah, those prices at the pump have been coming down, but rates still remain above $4 a gallon. According to AAA, the average in Metro Detroit, $4.18. That's down $0.07 cents from a week ago. The statewide average, $4.15 a gallon, down $0.09 cents from last Monday. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell takes a look at the various plans and how much drivers could actually save. Kim. Yes, Glenda and Brian, I know it's completely surprising. Politicians see high gas prices and they start coming up with so-called solutions. Well, there are several proposals that are coming to the forefront and we're taking a look at just how much they could save drivers. Drivers experiencing sticker shock are hoping for relief, perhaps from a gas tax pause. I'll help the people because gas is getting out of hand. Lawmakers have talked about three main proposals. The first, U.S. Congress is considering waiving the 18 cent federal gas tax. Number two, Republicans in the state legislature passed a bill that would pause the 27 cent per gallon motor fuel tax gas stations pay that is used to fund road repairs. This is a huge savings for a lot of people. So, and for business owners that make deliveries. Republican State Representative Pamela Hornberger from Macomb County says the legislature planned to backfill road funding. The governor said it should have been in the bill. As a result, the Senate did not have enough support from Democrats to put it into immediate effect. Legislature's plan doesn't actually go into effect until next year. Tax holiday could have taken effect immediately. Taking a look at the third plan, Governor Gretchen Whitmer vetoed the motor fuel holiday and instead suggested a pause on the 6% state gas sales tax that is used to fund schools. I also think that right now we could pause the sales tax on gas and give people immediate relief. Taking a pause on the sales tax to gas is the single biggest way to hurt public education that they could come up with. K-12 Alliance of Michigan Executive Director Robert McCann says he's concerned about any plan that touches school funding. Ultimately, to bring gas prices back down, supply needs to come back up or demand needs to decrease. And unfortunately, these proposals to re reduce taxes on gasoline don't do either of those things. Jonathan K. Hansen is a University of Michigan lecturer in statistics for public policy. He says people should know they won't get all of the tax savings at the pump, even if a plan passes. If studies are right, probably about 70% of the benefit might go to consumers, with the remaining 30% going to the retailers and the petroleum industry. Professor Hansen is referring to a MIT study that looked at what happened in Illinois and Indiana when they had a gas tax holiday. So if history repeats itself, what's going to happen here? Happen here. I broke it down for you. We're taking a look at what happens if the federal tax is given a holiday. You might see about 12 cents per gallon in savings. If the Michigan motor fuel tax has a holiday, we're talking 19 cents per gallon. And if the Michigan sales tax, if we get a break from that, up to about 16 cents per gallon based on the prices I've seen around town today. Reporting live in Southfield, Kim Russell, 7 Action News.